हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू दिस वीडियो ऑन एंटीना एंड वेव प्रोपोगेशन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑन वेव प्रोपोगेशन लाइक क्रिटिकल फ्रीक्वेंसी मैक्सिमम यूजेबल फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑप्टिमम फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड एट लास्ट विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द स्किप डिस्टेंस सो नाउ वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद द क्रिटिकल फ्रीक्वेंसी इट इज द मैक्सिमम फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ द वेव which is incident in the vertical direction that will reflect back from the ionosphere so when i project a wave in the vertical direction and the maximum frequency with which it will reflect back is the critical frequency okay so i have already derived the formula of refractive index in my previous video i hope you all have seen that video so mu which is denoting the refractive index it is equal to under root 1 minus 81n upon f square okay we all know this formula so we all know that mu can be represented as sin i upon sin r so now we need to know what is angle of incidence and angle of refract reflection so what is the angle of incidence first of all angle of incidence when i have projected my wave in the vertical direction so angle of incidence is the angle the wave is making with the normal so the angle this vertical wave is making with the normal is zero so angle of incidence is zero in this case so i is zero which means sin of i is zero okay because sin of zero is zero we know that now sin of i upon sin of r will also be zero so now putting it in the formula zero is equal to under root 1 minus 81n upon f square so i can say 1 is equal to 81n upon i am taking the critical frequency so 81n upon fc square so if i take fc in the right hand side so what will happen so 81n is equal to fc square or fc is equal to 9 under root n so now i know the formula of critical frequency so i hope it is clear the maximum frequency of the vertical incidence of the wave by which it will reflected back by the ionosphere if you have more frequency than the critical frequency it will penetrate the ionosphere and it will go in the space so i hope this is clear now coming to the maximum usable frequency in the maximum usable frequency i don't have the vertical incidence that is the difference so i have any angle of incidence of the wave and the wave will reflect back so when i have a wave i hope you know the property of reflection so i have taken r is equal to 90 degree so sin of r is sin of 90 i know sin of 90 is 1 so i will be forming out the formula of the maximum usable frequency in the terms of i only because i don't know what is the angle of incidence in this case so angle of incidence may vary so whenever my angle of incidence is varying i can not have a particular value it's a variable so i i'll be representing the formula in the terms of i only so sin i upon 1 represents mu so mu represented by sin i so sin i is equal to under root 1 minus 81 n upon f square so now here f is f m u f and i have already told you 81 n is f c fc square so you can replace 81 n by fc square so sin i is equal to under root 1 minus fc square upon fmuf square so taking square both side so sin square i is equal to 1 minus fc square upon fmuf square so rearranging them what i'll be getting so 1 minus sin square i is equal to fc square upon fmuf square 1 minus sin square i is cos square i we know that so cos square i is equal to fc square upon fmuf square so all of them are in the terms of square we can take the under root so fc upon fmuf is equal to cos of i okay so now i need to find out fmuf so i'll be taking cos of i in the denominator so 
एफ एम यू एफ इज इक्वल टू एफ सी इन टू सी कैंड ऑफ आई सो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट टर्म इज ऑप्टिमम फ्रीक्वेंसी सो ऑप्टिमम फ्रीक्वेंसी इज जनरली द फोर्टी टू एटी सिक्स परसेंटेज ऑफ द मैक्सिमम यूजेबल फ्रीक्वेंसी सो नाउ इफ आई प्लॉट दैम सो द मैक्सिमम ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दैम इज एफ एम यू एफ देन एफ सी then optimum frequency and then f l u f so what is f l u f it is the least usable frequency so i need to get my wave reflected from the ionosphere but if the frequency of the wave is such that it is not even reaching the ionosphere then what would happen it will not get reflected back it will come back to the earth or it will be getting absorbed by the earth so now coming to the next concept which is skip distance so in the skip distance i will see the wave which is reflecting at the least distance so if i send the wave it get reflected from the ionosphere the angle at which it get reflected from the ionosphere denotes some distance so the least distance over which i can get my signal back so this is called the skip distance i hope now you understood all of these terms so if you still have any doubt you can put the doubt in the comment and i'll try to resolve it as soon as possible i hope you like this video if you like it share it with your friends subscribe the channel and also push the like button thank you